Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, so I wanted to come on here and talk about this story, and it's coming from our fifth favorite state, Nutty Ass New York. So what's going down in Nutty New York, you ask? What's going down is basically we have a really, really sad situation. It's having to do with a Nigerian woman. She was leaving the Celestial Church of Christ in Queens, New York. She had bags of groceries in her hands from the church. She was getting ready to get onto the train to go back home. And what happened is that five men basically zeroed in on her. And they walked up to her. They did not know her. She's a mother too. And they basically told her to put down her bags. If not, they would shoot her. And once she sat down the bags, they demanded that she give them oral sex. So this woman was scared to death. She didn't know what to do. So she told them, you know, I, I can't give you oral sex. I have HIV. She said that to scare them off, hoping that they'd be scared and run off. But instead, these deranged, demonic idiots were like, we don't care. You're still going to suck us off. And one of them even volunteered to go get condoms to protect his homeboys from potentially contracting HIV from this woman. So the fifth guy ends up running to go get condoms. The other four guys line up and force this grown woman to give them oral sex. When I tell you this entire story is just so damn disturbing. So she's sitting there behind a truck being forced to give them oral sex. By the time the guy who ran to go get the condoms, by the time he comes back, three of the four of them have already ejaculated. He then puts on the condom and then forces her to give him oral sex on him as well. So after they end up basically sodomizing and raping this woman, they run off and she ends up running back to her church to tell the pastor what happened. They also hit this woman as well. They end up calling the police and taking her to the hospital. This entire story is just so sickening. I want you guys to go ahead and watch both of these news clips and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Surveillance video captures a 50-year-old woman unknowingly walking toward an unthinkable attack around 1040 Tuesday night. Across 150th Street in Jamaica, you see four men slowly pass by. Minutes later, they huddle together and then one takes off running toward her with the other three close behind. Police say the men stole the woman's cell phone and debit card and then took turns sexually assaulting her at gunpoint. She was crying. After the attack, police say the woman walked back to the Celestial Church of Christ, where she was attending a prayer service just 30 minutes earlier. She was scared. She, she was crying. She was just crying like a baby. You know, we couldn't control her. You don't do that to a young lady. This longtime Jamaica resident outraged at the violence in his neighborhood. And no little punks. I don't like what they did. That was somebody's mother. That was somebody's sister. Somebody's grandmother. You don't do those things around this neighborhood here. Less than 48 hours after the attack, again, three men are being questioned. Charges are pending. Police are actively searching for the fourth man they say was involved in this brutal sexual assault. We're live in Forest Hill, Queens. Forest Hills, Queens. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Three men are now in custody, accused in a vicious gang assault on a Queens woman walking home from church. But police are searching for one more suspect. CBS 2's Magdalena Doris explains from Kew Gardens. Maggie? Good afternoon, Cindy. Three of those men now in custody awaiting arraignment here at the Queens Criminal Courthouse, and they are facing felony charges. Surveillance video helped police get to those suspects, but there is still one person on the loose. The work for the NYPD detectives is not finished yet. Walking to the subway alone, bags in hand, after a church service, this 50-year-old woman was chased down on 150th Street by a group of four men Tuesday night. There are images captured on camera, and now three of them, 20-year-old Brandon Walker, 17-year-old Justin Williams, and 19-year-old Ulysses Janelle, are facing felony charges for what police say happened next. The woman was robbed of her debit card and cell phone. Detectives say her clothes were torn torn before the men took turns sexually assaulting her at gunpoint. She ran back to her church, Celestial Church of Christ, where her pastor called police. She was crying. The group of men was identified by surveillance video and witness statements. Neighbors thankful they were found quickly. I'm glad that they have surveillance cameras around. You know, that, that, that helps some. Yet still waiting anxiously for the fourth man seen on camera to be arrested as well. Okay. Catch all of them. That was horrible. 
Now, the three men here facing arraignment face robbery charges as well as menacing sexual assault and weapons charges. The pastor for the congregation says that the victim is emotionally shaken. She is afraid to walk alone, but physically unharmed. And now that congregation is praying that the fourth man involved will be caught soon. Live in Kew Gardens, Magdalena Dara, CBS 2 News. Maggie, thank you. All right, so you guys just saw that disturbing news clip. Now, three of the five guys were arrested. One was 19-year-old Julissus Ginnell. The other was 17-year-old Justin Williams. And the oldest of the crew was 20-year-old Brandon Walker, okay? So they were all arrested, but they're still looking for two more guys. And then also it came out that the oldest one, Brandon Walker, he's the one who ran to go get the condoms. He feels like he shouldn't be charged because he wasn't there at the time. I mean, the whole situation is just insane. He even had the audacity to be crying and saying that he can't see himself spending the rest of his life in jail because he has a newborn daughter. How sick is that? This man just has a newborn daughter, but yet and still he was okay with not only violating, but allowing and watching his friends to violate somebody else's mother. Imagine if somebody did that same shit to your baby's mother, to your mother, or to your child. You know, it's really sad that you have a lot of just sick people out here who don't know how to be empathetic and put themselves in other people's shoes. When I tell you this is some awful shit that happened to this woman, I feel so bad for her. This is something that she's never going to get over. This woman was leaving church. She was leaving a prayer meeting. And then she ends up getting raped by men who are young enough to be her son. It's like, what the hell is going on in this world? It's like, we live in a world where this generation of young people, they're not thinking anymore. They're just roving around the streets in packs, encouraging each other to do fuckery. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do anything to go viral and, and to become popular. And I'm not saying that's why these guys did that. I'm just talking about it in general. But you know, instead of these guys seeing a woman carrying all these bags, instead of them being gentlemen and offering to help her carry her bags to the train and doing something nice, you guys decide to victimize her? And again, this woman is old enough to not only be their mother, but potentially some of their grandmothers. You know, I feel so bad for her because not only is this humiliating, this is embarrassing. This was done by a bunch of strangers and predators. And the thing that really scares me is that we all know that there's nothing new under the sun. It's almost like, how common is this? I'm sure some women have gone through this, you know, not just New York, but anywhere in the country and didn't say anything. Or they were scared or they were embarrassed. And imagine there were no video cameras to capture this. You know, this happens a lot more than we know. It's really sad. So this whole situation is just insane. I'm really glad that they were caught. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel bad for any of these men. They all need to be locked up in prison, including the one that's trying to use the birth of his daughter as an excuse. He should be in jail. This entire situation is disgusting, and it just shows you how cowardly a lot of people are and how they're only bold once they move in a pack. But once you get them by themselves, they won't bust a grape and they won't make a move. Hence why now he's crying to the police and trying to distance himself from this heinous crime. I just hope the guy that woman finds counseling and she realizes that, you know, this is not her fault. This entire situation was just sickening. It made me sick to my stomach when I first heard about it. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.